A new tax-free savings account for first-time homebuyers called FHSA was just announced in the Canadian government budget. In today's video, we're going to explain exactly what it's all about. But first, let's roll the intro. Hi everyone, Josh here, and before we start, I just wanted to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that I can continue to make more content like this in the future. So you may have heard some buzz if you're a first time buyer about a potential tax free savings account for first time home buyers. As the increased cost of living is making it harder and harder to afford a down payment, the Canadian government is proposing a new tax free savings account for first time home buyers. The 2022 federal budget includes plans to create a new tax free first home savings account TFF HSA to help Canadians struggling to get into the housing market save for the cost of a down payment. It was recently introduced in the 2022 federal budget and is set to be available for Canadians in 2023. Essentially, it will provide first time home buyers with a savings account that combines the tax benefits of a tax-free savings account, TFSA, and a registered retirement savings plan, RRSP. With this new account, you would be able to save $8,000 per year to a maximum of $40,000 per person towards the purchase of a first home. If you are buying as a couple, each individual would be able to save in their own FHSA account. Like the existing tax-free savings account, withdrawals from an FHSA would be non-taxable, including any investment income generated within the account. In addition, any contributions you make to the account would lower your taxable income by an equal amount. In short, this account will basically combine the benefits of an RRSP and a TFSA, tax-free in, tax-free out. Right now, eligibility for this tax-free first-time home savings account is as follows. You must be a resident of Canada. You must be at least 18 years of age. You cannot own a home at any time in the year. The account is opened or during preceding four calendar years. And since the incentive is for first time homeowners, the expectation is that the FHSA is also meant for primary residences, not investment properties. The great thing about the FHSA is that you won't need to pay back any funds withdrawn from your account. However, once you've made a withdrawal to purchase a home, you will need to close the FHSA within a year from the first withdrawal. So how does this compare to the first time home buyers plan? With the first time home buyers plan, HBP, you can only withdraw up to 35,000 and in the home buyer's plan, those funds would have to be repaid eventually over a 15 year span. Under the FHSA, you can contribute up to $40,000 and you don't need to pay it back. However, since the FHSA is specifically meant for buying a first home, if you withdraw funds from your account for any reason other than buying a home, you would be taxed on it. Under the rules, you can't use both the home buyer's plan and the FHSA when purchasing a home. However, you can transfer your RRSP to your FHSA at any time. If you don't use the funds in your FHSA for a first home purchase within 15 years of first opening an account, you would need to close your FHSA or transfer it to your RRSP. If your goal is to purchase a home within 15 years, it makes the most sense to fill your FHSA first since you can get the benefits of an RRSP and a TFSA. To summarize, the FHSA will be an interesting option for first time buyers However, it will certainly not make housing more affordable. Any money you make on what you have invested in the FHSA will likely have little time to grow and will not compete with the rapid increase in housing prices nowadays. The government did mention at the beginning of the report that Canada is in the grips of a housing shortage and claimed increasing the supply of homes is the most effective way to make housing more affordable again. So what exactly does the government propose to help with this? The government is planning to spend 10.14 billion on housing over the next five years, which aims to make homes more affordable again by expanding supply and helping young Canadians save for their first home. The budget predicted that Canada will need to build around 3.5 million properties by 2031 to improve affordability and plans to double the annual pace of building in the country over the next decade. Hopefully this is the case, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. If you made it this far, I want you to let me know below in the comments what you think about a tax-free first home savings account and if you would make use of it when it becomes available. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications for more content like this, and I'll catch you next time.